This is a SIG 550. It's designed to destroy anything standing within its 400 meter trajectory. And there are over 500,000 of them kept in Swiss homes. Guns and shooting are a strong Swiss tradition. Basic military training is mandatory for young men. And afterwards, they're required to keep their weapon at home. Mark Heim is the Ticino representative for the lobby group Protel. Uh, basically, this was my father's military rifle. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, he got to keep it when he was finished. I have my grandfather's rifle in the office hanging on the wall. Uh, this was mine when I did service, which is quite an old one. It was introduced in 1957. It was used until 1990. And this is my son's. Uh, that's the uh, current model. That's what's being used today. That's what we'll be using uh, to shoot the Feldschießen today. The Feldschießen, or Tiro Federale in Campania, as it's known in these parts, is an annual Swiss event, and it's also the largest shooting festival in the world. Roughly 200,000 people come out to target practice all across the country. Ammunition is provided by the government. Heim goes regularly to this range, and it's often a family affair. It was organized by the government to have a very high state of red readiness for the Swiss uh, military and population. The target has always been that within 24 to 48 hours, Switzerland could, could mobilize a pretty large army, I mean, even by European standards. But it wasn't the militia that sparked Time's interest in guns as a young man. It was an unassuming trip to a Holocaust museum. I was going through all the exhibits and the soap and the lampshades made of people's skin. And uh, while I was looking, I heard a, a funny noise. And there was an old woman, maybe two meters from me. And uh, she was trying not to cry. She was sort of sopping very quietly. She was holding it back. If she had been a few meters further away, I wouldn't have heard her. And she obviously had gone through that. That's when the whole impact of it hit me. And I promised myself I would never be in her situation. I, will, I would want to be free, never in a, a situation where somebody could, you know, march us off to ovens or prisons or just take away our freedom. The key to freedom is the ability to be able to defend yourself. And if you don't have the tools to do that, then you are at the mercy of whoever wants to put you away. And the tools for that are